Hey everyone, welcome back. So I just wanted to show you guys how the last fall colored diptych turned out. I am in love with it. That Van Dyke red turns this deep, deep brick red. It is so pretty. And the way it played with the rest of the colors. And it just made the gold, it just made all the colors jump, which I'm in love with. And then to contrast it, we have that silver bronze right up at the top. And it has that pearl off-white finish to it. So far that's where this one ended. And we will be back revisiting this one in about a week or so and we'll come in and clean up and add gold leafing, probably. I still set on using that PBO GDO again, so this might be the piece for that. As for today, we are doing our chakra, or as requested by Artistically Random, and we are using an 8x8 from Master's Touch. It is from their linen collection. I believe these run $7.99 for their 8x8s. We are doing a cello dip. Where we're going to place it, lift it, and everything. And generally, when you lift it, it's in the intent to get a flower or some kind of burst kind of effect. So I'm thinking of doing a white base, maybe, maybe wait. Yeah, we'll do a white base and come in and probably do the seven colors that we have all lined up right here, all around it. But let's let you know what colors we will be using today. To start off, I am doing the Carolina Blue Shimmer from Christina Welch's paint line. It was, it's the perfect blue to complement the colors that I had, and I was just like, oh, I had, I had to use it. It's such a pretty blue. Next up, we have the Deco Art Festive Green. This one is one of Monica Tiamoni's limited edition colors. She sent me this color a while ago. And I still absolutely love it, so this one is going on. Haven't seen Monica in a while. We miss you if you're out there watching. Jumping into the yellow, I want to continue to play with that golden that I got from that sample box. So this one is... Zimin Benzimid... Does... I can't even... I'm not even... I'm gonna butcher that. It's a light yellow, but it's such a pretty yellow. Jumping in next, I have Naval Orange from Sharon Williams that we're going to be playing with. I didn't want a deep orange, I wanted something that's going to be a little bit lighter, it's going to pop. Coming in third next, we have Alan's Red Shimmer. I was debating on doing that one or Soho's um, Cadmium Red, but Alan's one because it goes so well with the Paraj Posse purple shimmer. And that one's there. And lastly, coming up, this was a violet, deep violet color I mixed up. Oh, it has to be about a year ago. So I'm hoping there is still about that much in here. And I'm hoping it's still good. And just to add a little bit of that extra shimmer to it, I'm going to be lacing this in with the base coat. This is the Golden Interference Violet. And it will grow. I'm just going to do a white base and then kind of drizzle this onto the white base. And then when we do the colors and pull, I want to see if this comes through at all. So that'll be fun. Let me get our white base down and I'll be right back. All right. So now that we're back, I don't know if you can see a little bit of it laced through. I added the white base and the interference violet, just kind of drizzled it, then tilted it. And so it's showing up a little. And let's see after we add our colors if it remains. So I'm going to start off in this order. Oh, wrong order. <laughs> Put it into chakra. Order. There we go. It's actually wrong order. There we go. The indigo is always before the the purple. Let's get started. 
So what I'm thinking is I'm just going to do the lines going out, place it, and then pull. Maybe. Should I do a circle? Uh, I always wish there was somebody else was here to be like, no, you should do this or that. Because I typically see them and they're all in order. And it's just, okay, all in order in a line. Now all I'm doing is kind of tapping outward where the colors are. Kind of helps get rid of any of the air bubbles that we have in there. And... Are you guys ready for this? I'm not. I probably made a mess. still a lot of paint on the center there, but I don't want to pour any of that off. It's actually really pretty looking. <sighs> I actually really like it. Oh, it's kind of exciting. There are a lot of air bubbles though. For I love it. I'm glad I chose those colors for this. I can't wait to see this one dry with all the shimmers in it, all the metallics in it. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what it looks like afterwards. I've just got to keep popping these little air bubbles, but I am seeing a little bit of that ultraviolet or the interference violet pull through, so that's kind of exciting. And we'll see if it remains, but till then. Let me know what you guys think in the bottom. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Up next, I have a trial and I will be giving away, since I ordered two, the King's Art Metallics. I have been seeing their ads forever. I've been asking around if anyone's ever used them and I always get the answer no. I've sent links to others, but I got the King's Art Metallics in. They're really pretty. I was playing with them, I'm not gonna lie. I had to see for myself, but it comes in this little box, all wrapped up. I have a second set right here that I will be giving away. It's still completely wrapped up and it's plastic, so that will be a giveaway. And I will be doing that most likely Thursday or Friday. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!